And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. So here he is, the undefeated Israel Adesanya, his crowning achievement, at least to this point in time, UFC 236. A monumental, unanimous decision win over Kelvin Gastelum in what was one of the best title fights you or I have ever seen. One of the greatest fights of all time. And to watch Israel Adesanya go out in round five, when the fight is on the line and have his very best round of the fight, was inspiring for anyone that likes peace martial arts. If you're a fan of a young guy like Israel, to see him do that, to earn that title, is very, very assuring as he's getting ready to go forward in his career. To achieve that goal in such a short amount of time is truly, truly unheard of. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time, and in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. Tell the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Four years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. And five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of seven wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, Weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poitra. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. So lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Misses with the left hook. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That's a big strike right there. Adesanya going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Connects with the right.
trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all of us. Yeah, and when you're standing with Izzy, you're in trouble, man. You're under constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, big punch lands. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Israel Adesanya gets caught by that straight hand. Just... Can't take many of those, you better check. Plus right hand is true. He lands a big knee to the bottom. And they separate. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. Nice punch by Adesanya. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Swing and a big miss by Adesanya. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Israel Adesanya's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Sneaky head kick. 45 seconds to go here in round one. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. So under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Adesanya. Good punch land. Israel Adesanya's kick attempt there blocked. Second round, straight ahead. Right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. when that leg kick's coming. Good defense to block the strike coming back. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Unable to connect it. Big punch land. Ooh. Head kick. Adesanya's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. So unable to connect on the uppercut. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Switching stances here. Punch is blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. And he that comes D. through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Oh! Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Great punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, the last style bender's got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. Big kick land. Knee to the body, it is blocked. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice punch there by Adesanya. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Big kick lands. <laughs> Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Take that, take that. Take him down, take him, take him down. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Well, you know he's not done yet, but the numbers to this point, 62 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. And landing with 51% accuracy thus far against Israel Adesanya. Very tricky. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Seconds remain in round two. The punch over the top. Oh, All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready 
fight. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Ooh, what a punch. Real quick leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, nice right hand, John. Beautiful kick. Nice head kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Three minutes to go in round three. <laughs> Try to establish that jab. Head kick there blocked by Adesanya. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Beautiful body kick. Straight right hand, no good. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Nice punch by Adesanya. Well, showing no signs of slowing down, and 87 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Well, on a pretty good connection rate thus far, hitting on one out of every two, the accuracy rate is 50% against Israel Adesanya. Dig and kick. The right hand just misses. Spinning back. got to check these low leg kicks. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. Kick to the body by Adesanya. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That shot is blocked by Adesanya. Under one minute remains in round three. Oh, wow. Huge head kick. Adesanya gets hit with a kick. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go in the round. Huge liver kick! That might do it! Oh, massive kick! Everything behind it.
right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible right, right. five. And a lot of right. fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you've got to change it up. You have to mix things up because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight. So you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Trying to establish that jab once again. That was a thudding leg Both kick. fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he out. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. Oh, huge block. Changes his stance. Big kick. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. An elbow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. <laughs> Big head kick lands. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landing. He's got to be careful of dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Adesanya. Hands up. 90 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice. Nice loop and punch. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Israel Adesanya is all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. One minute. Well, a lot of fighters say there's no worse feeling on fight night than when your cardio abandons you. And there's been a lot of output in this fight, but both of these men are absolutely gassed. They both fought very hard. But after round one, you saw one guy's cardio say, good night, guys. And in the second round, you saw the other guy. Good night, guys. Now they're like, oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Ah, 
Adesanya gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh! Bad. He thought the fight was over, but the night will go on. The dance continues. Will this be the final dance? Great job landing. What a damaging punch. That right hand landed. Israel Adesanya gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big... Oh! An uppercut leader! Oh, he's unable to find the target with that uppercut. Way to hide that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, just misses with the kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. Got clip with the right hand. Jab, no good. Oh. Oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. <laughs> you knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. the undisputed king of the 185 pounders, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, and how about the knockout to get the job done tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop this contest at two minutes, 27 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and still So a lot of people thought the number one contender was going to get it done tonight. Not the case, and still UFC middleweight champion of the world. And uh, I think he wants to slow all of that roll when it comes to somebody taking his title. Yeah, absolutely. This guy has.